Throttle door first, get the bonnet ripped off, and then start pulling the engine off. Pulling the engine off. <laughs> <laughs> channel welcome what we're doing in this one we are converting this to 1.7 cdti out of the astra h which i don't think has ever been done before so in the last one we got the engine out the astra van and what we're doing today is we're going to pull the engine out and all the gear and see if we can get close to sort of mocking up the subframe and seeing what bits we're going to use from the astra we're probably going to end up using it all or if we're going to be using certain bits out of cavalier as well so yeah We'll get the engine pulled out of this one, pull the loom out. We've already got the loom out of the Astro van, it's done in the last one. I'll put a link up above to the first video. That's Sam, I'm Colin. Let's get cracked. We've on. had to measure up, there's loads of room for the engine to go in. So, what I'll probably end up doing is cutting the mounts and the mounting points and then dry fitting it and lining up where the mounts are, tack welding them, cut that part of the chassis leg out of the Astro van to where it will need to fit on the cavalry and then stitch it all in and then seam weld it all up. We won't be doing no spot welding everything will be fully seamed up so yeah right there's loads to do can't believe we're doing it but we've got plenty of time sam's gonna start looking at taking the dashboard out take the dashboard out to see if we can get the dashboard to sort of fit in to line up so sam will get the dashboard whipped out how was that like sam not ideal not ideal he's got the dash out of the cavalry and now he's starting to unclip all the loom so we'll crack on with that dashboard's out Took it out without damaging any of the electrics and any of the dash because these dash is obviously getting rare and the top of that dash doesn't have a single split in it. So we'll put that into storage. If we end up don't using that, we'll probably stick that on eBay. So if you are looking for a mint Cavalier dashboard, put a comment down below because there's one there for sale. We'll get a lot of this out of the way and then we'll just have a bit of a marry up to see how far the dashboard will do. Hello mate, for you to sit on. Thank you. When I'm wired it up. I ain't sitting on that and you ain't wiring it up. So Sam's got the heater box out now and the bulkhead's getting nice and exposed. Are you enjoying it down there Sam? No it stinks. And what have you found? Some leaky water? Some stale wee wee water. Oh we found some water getting through the bulkhead look at, look there. Look at my look. Oh no look at your toolbox. Right so I can't believe it. Dashboard just chucked into place and you wouldn't believe that it nearly fits. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to trim back a, a bit of the dash at the back so you can get a little bit more forwards. So, but she's in and the door's shut, which I can't believe. So with a little bit of fabbing around, the dashes are actually going to fit in. Not too bad. And then I think what we're going to have to do is look for some black cavalier interior for the door card so we can change the door cards to black. If not, we'll have to paint it, but I'd rather find some black door cards to go in. I ain't trimming back any of the dashboard till we've got the heater in place and because we're going to put the air con. We're going to swap the air con everything over so we need to make sure we can get the air con through the bulkhead and the heater mode. So what we'll do now is let's get cracked on pulling the engine out. What do you reckon Ellie? Yeah, is it good? So what we'll do first, get the bonnet ripped off and then start pulling the engine off. Pulling the engine off. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pull the engine out, get the shafts out and hopefully the chassis rails aren't too far off. So this is going to be an absolutely mammoth task because I don't think it's ever been done before. Drop a comment down below if you think it's ever been done before. But yeah. The reason we're obviously doing it is really fuel efficiency and to have a bit of a dirty diesel in the Cavalier. It's not been done before, so let's get it ripped off to bits. Also, if you're after any bits, if you want the engine or any bits of dashboard, everything's going to be up for, for sale. So if you need it, drop a comment down, down below and sort it out with some for a Cavalier. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
1800 turbo diesel to meet the 1800 petrol. First time I've ever met. Say hello, engines. That was nice. Right, so the engine is out. And we've got a nice big engine bay now to scratch the edge with. So I'm with? Gonna... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, mate. Yeah, yeah I do. Nah. I'm wiring loom, boy. Pardon? I'm wiring loom. What? Yeah, wiring loom and interior. You're under here. It's your idea. It wasn't mine, it was a joint idea. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It wasn't. Yeah, it was. I was forced into doing it. You were not forced into doing it at so, all. Oh, how dare you? Let's get cracked on, aren't you? So what's the next bit then, sir? Well, I'd need to wait for you to fabricate all of this shit on the bulkhead so that I can start putting my interior. But the bulkhead's full of stuff, I can't get to the bulkhead. I'll soon sort that out. Right, let's do some measurements, I think, first, buddy. I think we should, uh, I think we should sit the diesel engine and see. Yeah, all this rubbish is all over. Move that then. Move that. Leave the bulb so, how it is for the time being. We need to get through to the engine for the uh, air conditioning. Is that just drainage there? Yeah. So that's drainage. You can't use a bracket, as simple as that. Too much going on in the bulk of you want. Right, what we're going to do is get the ABS pump out of the way, power steering, remove the engine mounts, get rid of the radiator, and then we're just going to probably sit the engine in and just see how far we are and what from the Cavalier we're going to use and what from the Astro van, because this is a stab in the dark. Like I said, I don't think it's ever been done before. What do you reckon, Sam? Don't want to be stupid enough. Well, we are stupid enough, aren't we? Yeah, it seems that way, so let's get back onto a timeline. diesel engine in and seeing how much issues we've caused ourselves by coming up with this stupid idea. Well, it, it sort of fits, ish, a million miles off, so we're going to just take the mounts off, the engine mounts off, try and get the engine lined up, see if we can get the shafts in. We need to sort of get the shafts in straight, and then we have to sort of work around everything there, because we're trying to save using the Cavalier hubs and the steering wrap, so it keeps all the geometry. We hope anyway, it's a stab in the dark for us, this line. So yeah, we'll uh, mess around with the engine now. There we go. It's in, it's running. Mint. <laughs> I wish. So it fits. There is obviously going to be some fabbing work to do, but it fits in between. The gearbox is tight there, but we'll be losing, we'll be losing a bit of this chassis and putting in the chassis off the Astra, obviously strengthening it up. It won't be spot welded. Everything will be seam welded up. So we'll incorporate that part of the chassis there. Maybe bring it back half an inch so we've got a better clearance there. And on this side. We're not so bad. Gonna have to just fabricate a bit of that chassis out of the Astro van to get that mount to fit onto there, which won't be so bad at all, really. But yeah, she's in. Just a lot, lot to do now. So I think we're gonna just pop the drive shafts in and see how how bad we are on the drive shafts and make sure we've got no issues there. Because luckily the drive shaft ends go into the hub, so that that saves a lot of messing around. And then we get to keep the steering, obviously. What do you reckon, Sam? I reckon you've got your work cut off. Yeah, so do I. What's just happened, Sam? It's just fit. Right. So I can't believe. Obviously, we've still got a lot of work to do with the mounts, but we thought we need to see if the shafts will fit to work out which way the engine will be. And the shafts have gone in, gone into the gearbox with the original Astro Van shafts, and they've gone straight into the hubs, and there's no play. They're absolutely fit, mint. So that's got the engine where it needs to be. The shafts are running straight. So all we need to do is now work out the engine. There's clearance everywhere. 
So I think we'll get the engine crane out of the way, put a jack underneath to work it out, and then I need to really take my time to work out what I'm going to do with these mounts. Whether I look on the internet and see if there's some competition mounts that mount different, or maybe make my own mounts to fit. I don't know yet, because it's all the stab in the dark, but the shafts are on, and the engine doesn't foul anywhere, and the shafts are all got clearance. So that means we can use the steering. Yeah, crazy. Woohoo! What do you reckon, Sam? Still in denial. Still in denial. <laughs> Still in denial. <laughs> well, the engine's in. Right, it was chucking it down, raining outside, so I didn't go out with the camera. Basically, I've chopped them parts of the chassis legs up, off, which we will overplate and mount where we need to be, so we've got the mounting points of where we need to be with the chassis. So obviously, there's a bit of grafting to do. Take a look. What we're trying to do is take as little as possible out the original and overlap it, and then we can seam, seam weld it both sides, underneath and on the outside as well. And then we've got the same on the gearbox side as well. So I want this mounting point and hopefully to see if I can piece it in somehow so I chop loads off that one. So yeah, we will make it fit. following day because it got really late and I was getting so tired I put it next to the ramp because obviously we've got to get on with our normal work so I've got this side of the mount done I never touched any of the chassis leg only where I put the captive nuts in and then all I've got to do is piece this bit of arch back in just to avoid where the mount is so that is that mount done and obviously in the video we're moving on to this mount I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger now so you'll have to tune in next time to see what happens but the engine's in, the shafts line up, I'm happy as Larry. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye now. Oh yeah, have a beautiful time.